this is London at uh, quarter past five in the morning. Went out last night and had a look at uh, this wonderful station and forgot to take my camera. So, paying the price, five o'clock this morning, we're out. I'm going to give it a look. Quite too far. Oh, I know. I can see. The village square. What's known as the Cloth Hall Cafe Corner. Heading into town, going that way back to the hotel. It all looks so ancient. So that then takes us there. That's our hotel. Light bit of precipitation. Have you 
occasional flash of lightning. This afternoon we're uh, taking care of business. We're going to visit Grandad's last resting place. Five C, yeah. The unspoken agreement is to stand back, let the granddaughters come be reunited with their granddad on their own. How many? 1,034 are unidentified. showing signs of the rain from last night. Thank you. 
take up our quarrel with the foe. who also served his brother Christopher. Selfie, wave at yourself, wave. <laughs> We're doing selfies, Pam. On the reflection. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I hate selfies, don't you? Yeah. Don't Try for spare. Oh, you're fine. That's Mike, but he's down the line. No, I got Mike. We're all right. We're doing selfies again, Mike. <laughs> Reflections. We're doing selfies again. I know you like them. <laughs> Right. 21st of October 1914. And if you look at the bottom of the gate, some of them have got little notches cut in. That's a notch for each person that died in the hospital on that day. So the call went out for volunteers to join the First of all, uh, services. Yes. And many did join up. But just one example of that. There's an ordinary nurse in, in you know, a, a nursery. American. They always take their dead back and bury them at Arlington. Didn't want this one. Originally born in Britain, but was a naturalised American. We've chosen to come in 30 degree heat, so an air conditioned coach. It's quite welcome. So I now know the reason why people, uh, people put stones on. We will meet here at this very spot. And executed at that end. Thank you. 
the other cafeterias didn't have any, didn't, they didn't have anywhere in the shade. Yeah. Then, when they were taking it off, there wasn't any milk in it, so I had to use it. Popping your... So very little comment will be needed as everything here is in English. Right, Pam, you're going for it. Go oh, on, no, please, I'm not. I'm not. I find those top couple more tricky than the rest, I don't know why. Yeah. Well, this is an evening walk along the city walls to what I'm told is a wonderful sight, which is the sun going down over the lake at the end of the city walls. Well, that's a lake of sorts. I'm not sure if it's the correct lake. I'm told it's at the end of the city wall, so that's a clue. Well, it's kind of the end. Pretty late. These brave men are buried where they fell. The enemy was on the other side of the water trying desperately to take Ypres. These men had other ideas. They still stand in serried ranks facing the long gone enemy. And here we have somebody remembered. And there's one of these at every cemetery. A morning walk. You won't forget to go in and all the other.
Another work day, and almost as many head cases as during the rush. Very bad news. Many more abundant. Our first try with the magnets are uh, unsuccessful. Our team really is working very well. Before he got as bad as this, he could see them, and they made him cry. He knew that he had been decorated in extremists because he was going to die, and he did not want to die. He sought and sought all the while the general decorated. visit, I think, seven different places today. I've added in a couple of places which are off our normal schedule to fit in with uh, some of you who want to visit specific places. told to come here and fight. These were all students at German universities and their professors and lecturers told them that it was their duty 
to uh, enlist and to volunteer to fight the Kaiser. So the Germans do things rather differently, and this is a massed grave. How many people were in this one? 44,000. 44,000, gosh. And most of these soldiers were actually killed here. This area apparently was fought over time and time and time again. And these are a line of the original defences. Ashendale. Selfies look like. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Quick go to selfie. <laughs> we all need one. Yeah. Well, everybody as long as you don't post it on the internet, Ron, <laughs> I don't mind. Well, everybody else does it, so <laughs> I don't see Maybe why we, we should. <laughs> <laughs> don't see why yeah. we should miss out. Um, yeah, right, shall we go down this slope and see yeah. if we can beat the girls back to the hotel <laughs> and, and be sat nocturnally in the uh, reception when they arrive? Into our second GNT. <laughs> yeah, ask them where they've been. So these are the lines of the actual German trenches. In the reenactment, this is them. On the high ground, overlooking the British, which were just down there. So presumably a German stood here, looking out there, and was on a shoot to kill policy. All end is missing. Direct hit. What's this? Okay, well now we're advancing towards the British lines. I'm not sure if this would have been deemed an advance or a retreat to be honest. But uh, Pauline striding down there, that would have been a frightening sight. They'd have probably turned and run.
That one's got to be, isn't it? Yeah, everybody's following you, that's the problem. <laughs> You're now in charge of the group. This is Messen Church. Adolf Hitler had a wound dressed in the crypt here. The Germans were using it as a first aid clearing post. He was quite an accomplished artist by all accounts and returned to paint the church after the war. row on row, that mark our place, and in the sky, the larks still bravely sing, fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead, short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie, in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. 